John McEnroe here alongside my old buddy Pat Cash. We are excited for this big match here today. Looking forward to sitting next to you, Mac, and uh, expecting some, some thrills and spills. We've got the easy job here. We just uh, get to talk about it. We're here today in the magnificent city of Dubai at the EA Sports Arena. Let's get into the action. McEnroe elected to serve. Time. Well, expect a fantastic match today between these two. Let's get into it. Well, making him move, of course, across court will also get him out of position, so you can then get to his weakness. If he has a weak forehand or a weak backhand or whatever it happens to be, by moving him around, you're going to be able to get to that weakness. What you want to do and hit the ball at your opponent is mainly off the serve and serve into the body. That's where you, the guy has a hard time when the ball's coming into him to be able to get enough power on the return to do something with it. Oh, clever play. That's a great touch for a lob winner. Well, he's got nothing to lose. He's got double break point. Well, in the end, that was a real epic game. Not surprising he broke serve with some great return. That's for sure. That's a good break. Okay, the player is looking for a strong service game here to consolidate the break and really take control of this match. Discuss the pros and cons of hitting your shots deep. Well, there's not too many cons, first of all. I mean, perhaps you won't be in position to volley if you're moving into net because players hit it so fast. So maybe there's a con there. But when you hit good depth, it gives your opponent less time and he's feeling more pressure that he's going to come up with something special. Highly recommended to hit, <laughs> hit with depth. Well, he's taking revenge on that ball. He's hit the cover off it. Fifteen. Nice passing shot, mate. All right, the player has a break point after just having been broken. This would be huge right here if he could get the break right back. He's going to have to go for something on the serve here. Well, he's broken back. It's uh, fantastic. Some great returns and uh, great ground strokes. Now, here's the thing. Oftentimes, there's that tiny bit of letdown. Now, he's got to keep the focus, make sure he gets a hold. Guess what? All of a sudden, he's in the lead as they sit down. That's a big edge. So this is a big game, too. You get the break. Don't be satisfied. All right, what about a bad tactic? On the hard court, bad tactic. Drop volley, perhaps? Now, the grips are a lot different than they used to be. You, bigger swings, western grip. You get it low enough. When they get below the net, it's tougher for that Western forehand for either the men or the women to put as much on as you like. But boy, if they get it over the net and they have a little bit of time, you're in some big trouble. Oh, he's got his shoulders into that forehand winner.
Souvenir for somebody back in row 25. It's his first juice of the match. Oh, to hit a backhand winner off that is not easy at all. And game point now. Well, an epic game, but he managed to get through it. Maybe it's the uh, <laughs> argument for no air scoring. The well, first to four. You know, we get a little too complicated in tennis, but I think the drama is there, which makes it exciting. I like that. Do sad. Well, the forehand, generally speaking, is the stronger side. You can get a little bit more power out of that one. And uh, to see a player skip around, ready to smack that forehand, well, it puts the opponent on the back foot. <laughs> well, he used his strength for that forehand down the line winner. Love well, players love down love 30, Pap. What do you do now? You try to just go for even more, take something off it, stay back? Do you switch gears that fast? Well, you think uh, the first couple of points have been a bit rusty, so love four, four. you've got to be hoping that, uh, you know, gets a bit of rhythm here. Maybe not go for something too crazy. Just try and get a good solid point and hope <laughs> the opponent misses. Well, he absolutely dominated that game. Well, it, was a, it was a good game. It was over fast, but there's not a whole lot to be worried about. He could regroup and get right back in this set. Fifteen long. A full power on that forehand. Oh, he's got lots of power. What a cross court forehand winner. He's in real control now. This is a chess match right now. So I think what he, he needs to do now is psychologically get himself ready for the next set. Well, he's about to serve at the start of the game. All right, Mac, what's the pros and cons of attacking the net? I know you love this stuff. Oh, I love this. Obviously, you too. But you need to get into net and position yourself well. Arthur Ashe used to tell me, cover the line. 
cut off that angle. So if the guy goes cross court, you can just stick your racket out. Sometimes you need to hit the approach softer to give you more time to give yourself that position. Sometimes you need to try to rip the winner to end the point. Oh, that's a winner. He's in a bit of trouble, but he can still come up with the goods. I'm thinking he might be going for something on the serve. Well, a couple of weak shots from his opponent, but he's, he's got the he's got the break. But he did a couple of good things there. That's well done. Well, he's in the right position now, John. He's uh, serving for the match. Should he go for the lines or should he play safely? That's a great question because you get to this winning position and you often change gears here. But you get a little bit of tight and you start missing first serves and allow your opponent back in the match. The same token, you keep playing the same, you figure the guy's going to start to figure it out sooner or later. So it's a bit of a dilemma here, serving for the match. What was he thinking? An easy smash put away. Missed that by a mile. That's a bad serve. Uh, this second serve is important. Wants to get the accuracy. Well, if you're going to do it, do it that way. Clean winner sets up match point. Well, it's hard to stay focused on this match point. Well, it's been a good match. He's grabbed the match point. He's got the win in the bag. Isn't it nice, Pat, when you execute a game plan and it actually works? This was a nice, nice to see from this guy right here. He played well. It looked like he really knew what he wanted to do out there, and he was able to play up to his capabilities. That is a very satisfying feeling. Well, that's all the action we have here at the EA Sports Arena in lovely Dubai. I'm Pat Cash, alongside John McEnroe, wishing you all the best for now. Well, it's been a good match. He's grabbed the match point. He's got the winner in the bag. Isn't it nice, Pat?